Generative artificial intelligence is a rapidly evolving field that offers new possibilities for creativity. Its rise has been facilitated by machine learning and deep learning techniques, which have made it increasingly sophisticated. Hi, I'm Andrew, Salesforce Technical Instructor at Salesforce Ben. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and check out our extensive resources on salesforceben.com. Now, let's get into Einstein GPT versus ChatGPT, a disruptor learning from its flaws. Before we start, it's important to understand the kind of technology we'll be addressing throughout the video, generative AI. Generative AI models often rely on a feedback loop to learn from their flaws. This loop involves generating new data, evaluating it against a set of criteria, and adjusting the model based on the feedback received. For example, a text generation model may generate a sentence and then evaluate it based on factors such as coherence, grammar, and relevance. If the sentence is flawed, the model will adjust its parameters and generate a new sentence until it meets the desired criteria. This process of trial and error enables the model to learn from its mistakes and improve over time and is the fundamental structure that any AI software is built on. Business potential. 67% of IT leaders are prioritizing generative AI for their businesses in the next 18 months, with one third claiming it as top priority. There are a few reasons why generative AI is becoming a priority for businesses. Firstly, generative AI has the potential to automate a wide range of tasks which can save businesses time and money. For example, generative AI can be used to generate personalized marketing content, create new product designs, and even write code. Secondly, generative AI can be used to create new products and services that were not possible before. For example, generative AI can be used to create new forms of entertainment such as virtual reality games and interactive movies. It can also be used to create new educational tools such as personalized learning modules and virtual tutors. Thirdly, Generative AI can be used to improve the quality of existing products and services. For example, generative AI can be used to improve the accuracy of machine translation, the realism of computer graphics, and the effectiveness of customer service chatbots. Of course, there are also some potential risks associated with generative AI. For example, it could be used to create fake news or to generate content that is offensive or harmful. However, the potential benefits of generative AI outweigh the risks and businesses are increasingly investing in this technology as can be seen by the boom of sophisticated AI tools such as ChatGPT. Nearly six in 10 IT leaders said they think generative AI outputs are inaccurate. There are a few reasons why IT leaders may believe that generative AI outputs are inaccurate. First, generative AI is still a relatively new technology and it is still under development. As a result, generative AI models can sometimes make mistakes. For example, a generative AI model might generate text that is grammatically incorrect or that contains factual errors. Secondly, generative AI models are trained on large data sets of existing content. However, these datasets can contain biases and inaccuracies. As a result, generative AI models can sometimes generate content that is biased or inaccurate. Thirdly, generative AI models can be fooled by adversarial examples. Adversarial examples are carefully crafted pieces of data that are designed to fool generative AI models. These examples can be used to make generative AI models generate incorrect or harmful content. Of course, there are also some IT leaders who believe that generative AI outputs are accurate. These IT leaders argue that generative AI models are becoming increasingly accurate and that the risks of inaccuracy are outweighed by the benefits of generative AI. Overall, the accuracy of generative AI outputs is a complex issue. There are both risks and benefits to using generative AI, and it is important to weigh these factors carefully before using this technology. 71% of IT leaders agree generative AI would increase their carbon footprint through increased IT energy use. There are a few reasons why generative AI can increase IT energy use. Firstly, generative AI models are trained on large datasets of data. These datasets can be very large and they can require a lot of computing power to process. As a result, training generative AI models can consume a lot of energy. Secondly, generative AI models are often used to generate content that is visually appealing, such as images and videos. 
These types of content can require a lot of computing power to generate and they can also consume a lot of energy. Not only that, but generative AI models are often used in cloud computing environments. Cloud computing environments can be very energy intensive and they can contribute to the overall carbon footprint of a business. Of course, there are also ways to reduce the energy consumption of generative AI. For example, businesses can use more efficient computing hardware and software. They can also use renewable energy sources to power their IT infrastructure. But it's an important point to consider when evaluating if the use of generative AI makes sense for your business. Although it might seem that tools like ChatGPT are the only worthwhile AI tools out there at the moment, Salesforce has been one of many companies that have been quietly working on harnessing this technology over the years. Not only that, but many people think that Einstein GPT is Salesforce's first product in terms of AI. This couldn't be further from the truth. It was back in 2014 when Mark Benioff made a declaration at an internal company All Hands, stating that Salesforce will become an AI-first company, with the goal being to transform Salesforce into an intelligent CRM, making it easy for every company and employee to harness the power of AI. What followed were various AI-based acquisitions, helping writing various AI-focused papers, and releasing many AI-focused features, such as opportunity scoring, bots, prediction builder, and conversation insights, to name a few. Now we get to what actually sets ChatGPT and Salesforce AI tools apart trust and responsibility. To develop and use AI responsibly, Salesforce has identified the following five guidelines that they need to follow. Accuracy. Salesforce's AI systems should be accurate and reliable. This means that they should be able to generate accurate results even when presented with new or unexpected data. Salesforce also believes that it is important to be transparent about the accuracy of their AI systems so that users can make informed decisions about how to use them. Safety. Salesforce's AI systems should be safe and secure. This means that they should be designed to protect users from harm, both physical and emotional. Salesforce also believes that it is important to be transparent about the safety of their AI systems so that users can be confident that they are using them in a safe way. Honesty. Salesforce's AI systems should be honest and transparent. This means that they should be clear about when they are using AI and they should not try to deceive users into thinking that they are interacting with a human. Salesforce also believes that it is important to be transparent about the data that is used to train AI systems so that users can understand how systems are making decisions. Empowerment. Salesforce's AI systems should empower users. This means that they should be designed to help users achieve their goals and they should not be used to exploit or manipulate users. Sustainability. Salesforce's AI systems should be sustainable. This means that they should be designed to be environmentally friendly and they should not contribute to the spread of misinformation or disinformation. Announced at Trailblazer DX 2023, Einstein GPT will deliver auto-generated AI content right within the Salesforce platform. There are many use cases for Einstein GPT, including Slack, Sales, Service, Marketing, Commerce, and App Builders. This is the world's most powerful, intelligent, generative CRM making every employee more productive and every customer experience better. Einstein GPT combines public and private AI models with CRM data so that users can ask natural language prompts, i.e. conversational questions, directly within Salesforce CRM. The result is AI-generated content delivered that continuously adapts to changing customer information and needs, hugely time-saving for users. What do we mean by public and private AI models? Einstein GPT infuses Salesforce's private AI models, in other words, those developed by Salesforce, which is leveraged by customers using features from the Einstein technology layer, Combining OpenAI's ChatGPT, thanks to Salesforce and OpenAI partnership, providing out-of-the-box generative AI capabilities to companies through direct access to OpenAI's enterprise-grade ChatGPT technology. Bring your own model. As Einstein GPT is open and extensible, you can opt to use it alongside your own external models. To understand this more clearly, let's take the following example. A salesperson at a software company wants to generate a personalized email to a potential customer. The salesperson could use Einstein GPT to generate an email that is tailored to the specific needs of the customer, such as their interests and their company's needs. Einstein GPT would use the public AI models to generate a general email template, and then it would use the private AI models to personalize email with information about the customer and their company. Einstein GPT Trust Layer 
As part of AI Cloud, the Einstein GPT Trust Layer is a new industry standard for trusted enterprise AI, with organizations benefiting from generative AI while also being reassured about data privacy and security, ensuring large language models, or LLMs, do not retain sensitive customer data. This separation of sensitive data from the LLM will help customers maintain data governance controls while still leveraging the immense potential of generative AI, which is something that Salesforce customers are more willing to pilot when they become aware of the safety net that Salesforce has incorporated, as opposed to remaining hesitant if it were an open API call out to other providers. The key difference between Salesforce Einstein GPT and other generative AI tools like ChatGPT and BARD is undoubtedly trust. With 59% of IT leaders thinking generative AI outputs are inaccurate, Einstein GPT is perfectly poised to fill the void that other generative AI tools are unable to fill. Tools like ChatGPT and BARD simply don't have the trust factor that Salesforce does. And with 67% of IT leaders prioritizing generative AI for their businesses in the next 18 months, now is the perfect time for Einstein GPT to launch. The fact that Einstein GPT also combines public and private private AI models makes it even more appealing. Currently, professionals are needing to choose between the various generative AI tools on the market. With Einstein GPT, there's no need for this and you simply choose whichever LLMs you wish to use. All this makes Einstein GPT the perfect generative AI tool.